year 2021. Where do we even start? Yeah, though, there'll be plenty of that in this video. But, you know, it's pretty much a reflection back on the last year. It's a new year. And, yeah, I meant to do this sooner, but, you know, uh, again, uh, I just literally just got back to the city and, uh, you know, I was unloading things and whatnot. So, yeah, that's why I couldn't really do this uh, year 2021 reflection sooner. So, yeah. Um... So, pretty much what I thought about it. Oh, and this too. That pretty much sums up 2021 in a nutshell. But, despite of that, I would take it. I would literally take whatever was thrown at me this year been of last year uh, I'll tell you that for sure because uh, yeah uh, 2020 was uh, a bit rough like uh, I was in college and shit you know I was a junior like literally no one was fucking there and all that um, the whole outbreak you know a lot of you know uh, activities and shit and clubs were shut down like it was kind of a Uh, excuse me. Yeah, I'll do some editing later. But yeah, pretty much it was a pain in the ass to like, you know, go from virtual to, excuse me, go to the virtual, the physical classes. And pretty much at that point, I was just hoping that it should just end it sooner. I mean, I had like two asynchronous classes where you literally did the class yourself and they graded it. So you know what I'm saying? But 2020, for the most part, all my classes, I actually had to go there. They were all physical. And, you know, yeah, it kind of felt like comfort book. It almost felt like, you know, when shit was kind of simple, you know, before all this outbreak and shit came out and all that. And apparently, you know, Omicron shit made shit worse. But really, I, I just think at this point... The CDC or whatever they are, whatever the fuck they are, they, they, I feel like they're kind of blown out of proportions, you know what I'm saying? I mean, I hate to sleep on my old tinfoil hat, but pretty much, like, yeah. Well, what did I think about your, well, <laughs> sorry, did the gas What well, I actually felt about it, like, you know, was the more, you know, outcomes of it? Well, class were back and all that, and... Quite frankly, despite this being my senior year, this is literally the most time I actually felt like a college student, bro, for the most part. Like, you know, I was going out, you know, strip clubs and shit, you know, I was going out with my homeboys and all that and whatnot, you know, I was, I was partying and shit. Like, really, this is the most time where I actually did feel like, you know, I'm, I was in college, you know, like the more laid back young adult, you know, type of thing that goes on. The drinking and smoking and shit, you know, like that, like, like, quite frankly, this is one of the most laid back years, I would say, even despite of the outbreak is on, but pretty much, yeah, and quite frankly, a lot of shit happened during that time, like, you know what I'm saying, hmm. but nah, like, uh, for real though, like, um, this year, you know, I was just kind of like, just kicking back and whatnot, you know, the family and all that. Uh, and pretty much this is also kind of the year of my, uh, uh, back in 2021, of course, is where, you know, I was finally getting back into video games and shit. Like, you know, like, I kind of had to leave that shit on the back burner because, you know, school and shit. And really, I ain't got time for all that. But, you know, like, I pretty much rejuvenated my game, uh, my game hobby and shit, being a gamer, collecting video games and shit. So, yeah, that's kind of what's up. Uh, yeah, so pretty much old hobbies of mine pretty much came back because of year 2021, and I appreciate it for the most part. And, you know, there's also the part where I actually felt like, I really felt like a adult and shit. 
for my year, for my, I, I didn't make any New Year's resolutions, like back in like, uh, uh, back in December. But this, I never liked New Year's resolutions because people always use that as an excuse to change when really you can change can be like anytime, anywhere. Like it, it you never. You never, uh, you're, you're never short of uh, wanting to change yourself and do better. Like, there's always time for it, <clears throat> for the most part. Like, you can always do it. Like, so fuck the New Year's Revolution shit. Like, the better yourself doesn't depend on the time of the year. You can do it anytime. Like, you, when you're saying, I want to do better or, you know, shit like that and all that. So I didn't make no New Year's resolution. But uh, I guess you could say I kind of did like convert to a religion, although it's not really religion, it's more philosophy. Uh, uh, pretty much during my time back in uh, year 2021, I fully made the, the, I fully converted to Confucianism and whatnot. Like I bought the book and shit and all that, uh, the Analects and all that. Um, I was kind of conflicted on a lot of shit going on, like, you know, for some job interviews, I had to shave and whatnot, but I didn't want to, I, you know, but, you know, in, until I get the permission of, you know, my, my parents and whatnot, that's the only time you can shave, you know, all these job, you know, people want you to shave and all that, and I'm like, nah, fuck that. But, you know, I kind of got around to it, fuck it. I mean, eventually after this whole college thing, you had to do it and whatnot. You know, because, you know, you kind of have to bite the bullet sometimes. Uh, especially when you want to get shit where you want, you kind of have to, like, you know, play by the game, play by the rules. Unfortunately, that's kind of the thing about being an adult, bro. Like, sometimes you got to play by people's rules, even though if it might be a detriment to your philosophy. <laughs> God. Philosophy, religion, you know what I'm saying? But, hey, you got to do what you got to do, bro. And, you know, I can't, like, well, yeah, pretty much I was waiting to change shit and everything. So, yeah, you know, I decided to go for a new look. And pretty much after this whole college shit, I'm going to have to be, like, look for a job and all that. So, I uh, might as well thought, like, yeah, fuck it, I might as well. But I'm not, like, one of those religious zealots where I'm, like, Oh, I can't do this. Oh, it's by the Lord. Well, uh, it's by the Lord. I can't do it. Like, nah, like, fuck it, man. Just get it over with. Like a band-aid. Just rip it off. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, this is that. Like, pretty much back in 2021, I made my full conversion to Confucianism. You know, I'm still learning some things and all that. You know, I'm not, like, you know, up there, up there. I'm still learning the ways of it and all that. The analects and reading it and shit. You know what I'm saying? I uh, only really got the permission of my uh, parent, uh, parents to shave and shit. I mean, like I said, a grown ass man still asking people, still asking his parents how to carry himself. But, you know, fuck it. If I'm actually going to do this, I'm going to do this. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, fuck it. Like, I can't eat raw or uncooked meat or rotten meat. Like, Everything has to be well cooked and seasoned, you know. But like, I'm learning one by one, you know, in this whole confusion thing, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, pretty much made full conversions and all that. And you know, I'm still learning, I'm still reading, still like getting other people's takes on it who also made that change, you know, reflect on myself, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, uh, shit. I mean, on terms of, like, my lifestyle, like, pretty much nothing really changed, bro. So, uh, quarantine shit kind of do got me by the balls right now a little. You know, like, especially this whole Orwellian shit that's going on, the whole quarantine. Like, literally people, it's okay to literally snitch on someone if you don't wear your mags for a split second. Like, bro, what if my, like, ears is, like, getting rope burn or some shit or my mouth is like getting hot or something or I can't breathe and like for a brief minute I like pull it down to like you know relax a little that's why you're gonna snitch on me on that like it's kind of gone a little out of control and you know half this shit really isn't all that effective anyway you know what I'm saying uh 
So yeah, there's that. Um, it's really Orwellian, you know what I'm saying? Like they're pretty much almost pressuring everyone about the vaccine. I'm not an anti-vaxxer or, or anything like that, but you know they're really pressuring. They're really shoving this whole vaccine thing down people's throats. And quite frankly, I just feel like it's kind of odd that they came up with a vaccine during a pandemic, like like during the ensuing you know hellfire of this whole quarantine shit, like. Personally, I, just feel, I ain't no doctor or pathologist or anything, but I'm pretty sure with any vaccine, it takes more like it takes more time for you to develop opposed to shit. I mean, there's all this shit kicked off. It's like the 2019 had like the science of it of the of a uh, coronavirus, and 2020 is when the, actual, the quarantine actually kicked off. So yeah, it's fair to say, literally. 2019, 2020. I'm doing the math. 2021. Yeah, it's been almost four years, four and a half years when this shit kicked off. And already they're, like, coming with a, a vaccine. I feel like they're doing it too fast. Like, you know there, there has to be more tests done. Like, I ain't jinxing no one. I, I'm not an anti-vaxxer. I ain't one of those dipshits or anything. Or I ain't forcing nothing down their throat. I just feel like it's too soon, you know, for a vaccine to come out. And really, I live in the U.S. of A. You know what I'm saying? And we kind of have a bad habit of, uh, you know, dealing with outbreaks and whatnot. When literally this whole Corona shit, literally is a prime fucking example. Like, pretty much uh, quickening a vaccine without really letting shit like you know go by smoothly and all that, and you know you're doing things that are utterly effective. So, yeah, we kind of do have a bad habit of, you know, dealing with the outbreaks and shit. And I feel like the whole really, whatever, really uh, convenient uh, vaccine is, it's it's questionable. Like, like I know people, they're pretty much biting themselves to like force people to do it. But I just feel like people should really, they should really uh, watch before they leave. You know, with this whole vaccine thing. I'm not saying no one should take it. Like, with, with all due respect, you should. You know, for this fucking shit storm to end. But at the same time, I just feel like it's too soon for a vaccine. And you should really, like, really give it some thought. To, it, it, some really, some really give this a thought if you want to take it. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's just my whole, my whole take on it all. But not. Nah. I don't really talk, I guess anyone else, I don't really do politics here, but, you know, like, that's just my little ramble of this year and shit. But yeah, I got a lot of stories and shit, all the shit I did this year, like, for the most part, like I said, most part, it was a pretty chill year, I'm glad it was physical classes again, I actually felt like I'm in college, and and it doesn't feel like something I can just do from my home, from my home, like, it actually feels like something, you know, I'm doing. Because, you know, it's physical and shit. Like, this year I had to take, like, Arabic and shit. Like, Marhaba and Ma Salama. I had to write all this shit. And quite frankly, it's difficult. It's not, like, super difficult. But, you know, learning a language, they make it seem like it's a walk in the park. And for some people, it may be. But, you know, it's, I wouldn't say it's vastly different from English. No. I feel like every language in some way corresponds to the next. But Arabic, you know, like, it, it was sure, it sure was a lot to consume at one time. Like, I had to write Arabic, I had to speak Arabic, I had to pronounce it right. You know, with, you know, like, you kind of have to, like, roll some things, like, ha, instead of ka, but ha, you know, like, you have to, like, push it out from your throat. Like, it's, it's really that, like, you have to write from right to left, you know, it's, it's, it's vastly different from English, it, but it's still somewhat familiar, like I said, every language in some way has correspondence, and, you know, it was a, it was a really big jump, so to speak, but from what I had to learn from this year, like, I can actually, like, if you actually still from, like, Arabic writing, I think I actually can make it out, but, in the most part, it was interesting, but, it was a major leap, I would say, in terms of, you know, yeah. 
Long as the win this year. What not? I mean, this year, like, <laughs> I, I usually, yeah. and at this time, you know, when I say I was feeling like a teenager, uh, well, not teenager, but like a college student, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of buzzed, obviously. Yeah, yeah, I can already tell I'm kind of buzzed at this point. Uh, so, yeah, I was kind of drinking before I actually made this video, so yeah, there's that. But yeah, pretty much this time is where I actually really did feel like the college experience. You know, from the perspective of a young adult. You know, the late, you know, all the partying and drinking and shit. Like, like I really feel it now. Like, it's it's there. I feel it in the air, so to speak. And, brother, I gotta tell y'all motherfuckers, a lot of shit actually, like, a lot of weird shit. And a lot, like, a lot, like, at once, like, came at once while I was through this whole, my experience in college and whatnot. Because really, <laughs> this whole thing I actually did this year was just college and all the experiences that came with it. Like, of course, you know, I went back to my hometown and shit, you know, met up with the family and all that. But really, it's just like basic shit like, hey, this is what I did. I did this and that and blah, blah, blah. But really, the basis of everything that happened in 2020 happened, you know, on the campus. You know, me and college and shit, me and friends and all that. Uh so yeah, uh, pretty much like, pretty much did basic shit that people my age would do, especially if we're a college student. Like we was out drinking, partying and shit, uh, going to strip clubs, which is, if I actually get drunk on this video, it's like, yeah, we're gonna get to the really suggestive things. Like, yeah, I might edit later like a advisory or something, because like, I pretty much made it clear that this video isn't for, you know, the faint of heart or a younger audience. Well, this whole channel isn't really. It's for, you know, apparently uh, adults and whatnot. But, yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we'll actually get to the nitty gritty of shit. But, you know, this is where I really actually feel like, you know, yeah. I mean, last year when I was a, jun when I was a junior, a <laughs> junior, <laughs> But yeah, when I was a junior, like, you know, it was there, like, you know, we did basic shit, but as soon as I got a senior, it's like that shit really did kick off, bro. <laughs> it's a shame all this shit would kind of like, it would still happen, of course, when I got out of college, but, you know, I had to like simmer down, of course, because, you know, employment and, you know, eventual career and shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm really trying to get into like, you know, the whole comic book, entertainment, video games. I actually went through a lot of shit. And, you know, eventually you kind of have to simmer down, bro. You, you kind of have to, you know, put your big boy pants on. You know what I'm saying? But now, seriously, last week, a whole lot of shit came out, like, in terms of entertainment. Now, now we're on the subject. Like, they said, you know, the final season of Bleach is coming out, although with the Hell Chapter... Uh, final is definitely would be an understate would definitely be inaccurate, but you know the it's like it was like Christmas came soon, and it was like November when all this shit came out. Like they said, the Persona Four uh, Persona Four Arena Ultimax is finally being released on uh, PS4, and I'm like, whoa, man, it, it might actually be a god out there, bro. <laughs> I might actually have to think my agnostic ways, bro, or something. But no, seriously, like, you know, Ultimax came out. They said it was going to come out this year, back in uh, 2021. Uh, the, 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 the Quincy Saga, the Bleach is coming out and shit, like, KOF. I'm like, God, bro. It's like, it was like, it's like, you know, Christmas came sooner when, it, when, all, when I heard all this shit back in November. Like, especially now that I heard that Ultimax is coming back, I need to, like, really... Like, like, resharpen my tools, bro, because, like, I, I know I might be a little dookie in it because I haven't played it this long, but, no, that game is still fucking fun. Even though uh, I still uh, prefer more traditional things like KOF, but, you know, I really got to, like, you know, get back in my groove when that game comes out for PS4. And you know, already know I will be there. Yeah. <laughs> I'm really trying to get back into this whole uh, video game shit because simply I just don't have the time, money, or resources for it anymore. 
And, you know, somewhere down the future, I actually do want to do some uh, gaming shit on this channel. I mean, that's exactly why I bought a capture card, because I wanted to, you know, do recordings and put it on here and whatnot. Like, I already got my OBS Studio app on this computer. Yeah, it's not the same computer, if you're thinking that. But just so y'all know, something else I also got over back in 2021. But, like, pretty much, like, literally the whole time, like, a lot of shit happened in 2021. Mostly for the best, although we're still strenuous with this whole fucking uh, quarantine and shit. Yeah. <laughs> Man, I'm crushing this, y'all. This corona. But nah, seriously, though. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's just... In terms of entertainment media, it's just a, like a lot of shit that's just going on, bro. Like... It, like, the year didn't totally suck. Like, I had a job as a photojournalist. Yeah, I've also forgot to mention that back in 2020. In the summer, I had a job as a photojournalist. Like, and shit. It was also, like, via, you know, it was also by, like, a Zoom. I had to do that whole job on Zoom as a photojournalist and shit. But it was still, you know, kind of fun. Met some different people. Although, I wish we were actually, like, there with everyone, but... You know, that was the same thing with my last job, like, I wasn't, like, really there, it was via Zoom the whole time, and, you know, when they passed out the certificates and shit, you know, like, perfect attendance or best employee, like, yeah, like, it, 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 it seems really, de it, it seems really, it takes you out of the mood, I guess, with this whole virtual workspace and shit, it, it, it really does take one out of the mo mood. And so, yeah, there's also that with it. But, you know, I'm still glad I got, like, for the most part, it was a temp, it was temp work. I mean, my whole, me as a photojournalist, it was temp work. But uh, still, I was still glad that I had it. It was still fun, the experience. And whatnot, I was able to get this shirt <laughs> with the money from it, and as well as other stuff. Which, is, if anyone actually want to see it, it's... Pretty much like a, a beer, yeah. This is my bucket list and ice and beer. I think what was curious and pretty much currently is one of my favorite shirts that I bought. But you know, this ain't a fucking chilling channel. I'm not mother's basement. I, I, but we don't really do that here. I mean, I may have like, you know, got kind of geeky with posters and shit, but you know. And video games, but you know, like I ain't like telling you buy it, buy it, sell it. This is what it does. Ooh, like nah, I don't really do that shit and shit, bro. <laughs> uh, shilling should never come over. You know, critical analysts. The shit I do. I mean, I may be uh, you know blowing my own horn, but you know that's pretty much why one of the main inspirations why I became a YouTuber. So I can, you know, get into this whole skepticism of, in terms of entertainment and media in the first place. Somewhere down the future, I actually want to do more like critic work, you know, relating to books, movies, and what may have you. But yeah. <laughs> shit, I... Man. But yeah, a lot of shit happened. Uh, maybe somewhere later in the video, I'm actually going to get into the more, like, uh, oh, what, how I'm going to put this more grittier shit, like the more really suggestive stuff I mentioned earlier in this video and shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, and I already mentioned before, this video, these, this video isn't intended for a younger audience, it's for adults, like I said, although... It's going to get a bit little kiddish here and there and shit, you know what I'm saying? You know, little, yeah, with the whole material going on. <laughs> kind of forget this fucking camera. It's like inverted, but yeah. <clears throat> but yeah, that's pretty much <laughs> really until I actually, you know, get to the story shit later. But yeah, that's pretty much all I kind of say about 20, <laughs> 2021. Like, the whole quarantine shit, you know, kind of kept me from, you know, actually enjoying shit at, at a time. You know, I've, you know, fully uh, uh, 
converted to Confucianism, so to speak, or at least I'm more into the ways of it, so to speak, now. I got the book and shit. Like, I'm getting back into my game collecting uh, hobby and whatnot, playing them, of course. But, yeah. Uh, <laughs> pretty much, like, I wish there was more to tell about it, but really, it's just my 2020 experience. You know, of course, while the bullshit pandemic and regulations and shit. Aside from that, pretty much all I did was literally just did most of everything, classes, work, you know, did, uh, uh, you know, by Zoom and, you know, meeting softwares and shit, uh, converted, uh, and I picked up some old hobbies. That's pretty much literally what my experience in 2020 is. Uh, my overall experience of it, it I mean, it, it didn't suck, I would say, yeah, compared to 2020. But yeah, because literally 2020, the world fucking ended, bro. Like, 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 a lot of people say Y2K and shit, but I'm like, no, 2020 is when the world really fucking changed, bro. Like, 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 in a big way, especially the rioting and shit, bro. Like, you know, like some shit simmered down for the most part, but yeah. Uh, uh, I'm going to get into the videos later. Like, you, not not videos, like the stories, like the more suggested shit by this series. You know, like, yeah, I really know what's going on. You know what I'm saying? My experience with it. And, oh, yeah, I also forgot to mention, you know, like, I also feel more, you know, in the whole college, you know, experience now. You know, you know what I'm saying? Feels like uh, I really learned a lot, you know, and expanded these uh Four years while I was in college, you know, I actually feel like I am gonna. I really do feel like I am gonna be the man who I'm gonna be for the rest of my life. You know what I'm saying? Like, like people say it's literally like being in high school is when you when it, when that comes. But I'm like, no, it's it's really like now, like, because in college, pretty much after this, bro, you're gonna have to find a job and get a career and. You know, all the housing and car bullshit, you know. You know, all the reasons why a lot of people say adulthood sucks, excuse me. I kind of fucking burped again. But yeah, you know what I'm saying? Bullshit. Uh, in terms of media, um, the only things I could think of is, uh, I saw that uh, Suicide Squad jump, and honestly, <laughs> it was good. It was, it was vastly different from its butt fuck uh, 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 previous one with uh, Will Smith with uh, Deadshot. Like, I like the Peacemaker, although I don't think he's deserving of a show. Like, he was funny in that movie. We we enjoyed him in that movie, but you know, John Cena, Peacemaker, and the Suicide Squad, like. Him getting his own show is a bit, it's pushing it a bit, because essentially he's Deadpool. <laughs> That's essentially what Peacemaker is. And like, yeah, like giving him his own show, like, come on, son. Like his, t like them, I liked him for what he was in the film. Like, you don't have, to, you don't really have to milk this movie, this character, and the overrated fucking actor that plays him. Her role was great, like it's, it's really quotable and everything. You know, if this whole jungle was full of dicks and had to even for justice, I'll do it. Like, that whole movie is just like, it's quotable, it's funny. It, it James James Gunn really, you know, yeah, it did it. You know, like, you looked at the movies and you looked at the previous one, it was like, nah, we got to do, we, we got to do better. And we got Suicide, we got The Suicide Squad. And it was pretty good. Like, literally, DC, like, went back to shit like that. Like, they, you know, got in more writers and directors and shit that actually know what the fuck they're doing. They're not just making edgy bullshit like Zack Snyder. Like, yeah. And then they actually would, like, yeah, be up there. They actually would be good. You know what I'm saying? Um... What else would I have to say? Oh yeah, I finally saw no I saw No Way Home last year. And back in twenty twenty one. 
And I mean, I know this is going to be pretty uh, cliche, but I liked it. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I mean <laughs> to say you did like it is just really unpopular opinion. But no, legitimately, I did like it. Although, admittedly, there were certain, a few writing things I didn't like that they really should have avoided. But for the most part, it was actually pretty good. You know what I'm saying? Like, it was good to see all the Spider-Mans who they have on. Andrew Garfield, Tom Holland, and of course, the meme lord himself, Tobey Maguire. You know, all the same movie and whatnot. Although there's a few writing things I really think they should have avoided in this film. But it was, it was pretty good. It was sweet. It was, it was fine. It, it's pretty much saying thank you for being a Spider-Man fan. Thank you for sticking around as long as you did. You know, all that whatnot. It, it's a love letter, so to speak. Although, uh, I am kind of... I have some really strong, uh, I have some mixed feelings about this movie pretty much spawning, you know, a fourth Spider-Man movie for the Sam Raimi ones, and the third Spider-Man movie for the Amazing Spider-Man. I'm like, no, fuck them. They're done. It, it's kind of like the Sam Raimi movies, one, yes, even three, I know really how people pretty much more or less bash their movie to a fucking oblivion, but... All three of those movies, they're kind of like a picture you make when you, you know, like, it's like a, a picture of someone's life. And you hang it up, you preserve it. Like, it's something you look back at fondly through the past. Like, you don't do anything to it, you don't alter it or nothing. And this Spider-Man 4 thing, it's like, if someone, and you didn't even do it, someone took your picture down and, you know, altered it a bit and changed it up. That's what it kind of feels like with Spider-Man 4. Like, these, these, this movie, the Sam Raimi films, Spider-Man, Toby, Spider-Man, is something to be, it's something to be admired for the past. It's not something that simply should be just replicated because, you know, cha-ching, because, you know, that's the reason why they were making a Spider-Man movie. It's a change. They're trying to bake on the nostalgia of older fans of people who grew up on those films, such as Noir. <coughs> I mean, I'm kind of mixed on it, to be honest. Like, it's good to see Tobey Maguire back, I guess. But at the same time, like, no. That nigga's old as shit. Like, <coughs> like the nigga's old as shit. Like, he's not exactly in shape, and he kind of has a permanent back in uh, injury. Like, nah, just, just let it go. Like, those movies were fun for what they are. Like, you know, yeah. But at the same time, I still am glad that they rejuvenated stuff from my childhood. Because, you know, like, modern stigma and shit, like, affect the film. Like, really, I'm on the ropes about it if they do make a Spider-Man 4. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I also saw Super Crooks. It was that, uh, it's, it's pretty much an anime. Yeah, I'm spitting a lot in this fucking video today. Good stuff. I'm, 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 I'm buzzed. Pretty much, it's an, it was an anime, it's, it's an anime based on an American comic, but it more, more so uh, spots light on the perspective of Superboy. And it was fun for like the first three episodes, and then after that, I feel like it kind of carried, it it kind of, like, yeah, you know, you kind of got, it just became another heist film, so to speak. Like, yeah, they de they dwelled into the, you know, concepts of super villainy and superheroism and pretty much all that, but really, the first, like, three episodes got you sold, and pretty much after that, it just kind of, it just becomes another generic heist film, but only... The characters might have a, have an edge because they have superpowers, but really, it wasn't anything to really be to be behold. I enjoyed it for the three films have been, and quite frankly, it would have been better if it was a movie. But yeah, and like it, it, it came as it went, so to speak. Super Crux. It, it was one of those. It, it came as it went. It was like Wreck of the Ragnarok. It came as it went. And people already didn't like season one. They said it was a shitty adaptation compared to the manga. 
Although that's only the the clump of that's only the, a fragment of his problems, uh, opposed to this being a generic tournament anime. But you know, it, it was just like this. Uh, Super Crux was really up there with Echo Ragnarok. Like it had its thing, and it went by fast, so to speak. Its gimmicks literally came and went, so to speak, and they they kind of fall in that same realm. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much all the ghosts have to go for, like, entertainment and shit, like, it didn't suck, entertainment didn't suck, but, uh, uh, you know what I'm saying, like, movies, the TV shows, they were fine, I did like the Doom, though, when Doom came out, actually, Doom was pretty good, uh, funny enough, I mean, it was, it was way more, this one was way more dialogue-driven, and, for the most part, it actually worked. But, oh, and, and American Motion Picture, like, God, I keep contradicting myself when I said that movies were all mad. But there were still a few exceptions. But, yeah, 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 that's exactly what I meant. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> so, yeah, I'm pat. I'm, I'm I'm, I'm loaded, so to speak. Yep. Pretty much the year was the uh, year 20, uh, 2021 was over, so. And, you know, I mean, turn a new one and shit, so, you know, like, a lot of shit is, like, really coming out of me, you know, like. <laughs> I mean, it's not like a dependence, like, oh, I need it, I need it, I need it, I need it, but it's more like, you know, like, fuck it. it it's, it's that time of the year, fuck it. Like, you know, it. Gotta yeah, get out, but uh, yeah, uh, pretty much that's all in a nutshell. That's what I got to say. I'm be more suggestive of it, but yeah, films and media was it was fine, although not entirely memorable. There was a few things that hit that that hit, and at the same time, there was also plenty of things that didn't. What not? Uh. So, yeah, pretty <laughs> converted to Confucianism. I had to work virtual, I had to do classes virtually. I pretty much got shot down by hundreds of job interviews, bro. Which, <laughs> you know, you gotta get back on that horse, but yeah, it's, it's a lot of shit going on. I actually felt like a, you know, college student this year, uh, last year, so to speak. And, you know, cheers to a new one. Ah, that's good. Mm. Don't like the aftertaste, but it's pretty good, yeah. And a drink is kind of a staple of my home city, so fuck it. Mm. But yeah, a lot of shit happened. Uh, <laughs> yeah, well, <clears throat> I guess this is the part where I get the more suggestive shit, bro. Um, yeah, so while I was hanging out and shit, you know, I was, I was out in the city and all that, you know, I was going to like hundreds of different bars and all that, and whatnot, all of that just seems to be the fucking ways of the day, bro, for now, seriously. But like, bruh, like, like, there was like one week, right, where I went out with my friends, right, and pretty much... You know, I kind of, like, overdressed a little. Admittedly, yeah, I'm going to admit to it. I overdressed a little, despite me just going to, like, a bar. But, you know, fuck it. You got to look good when you going out, bro. Fuck it, like. I ain't shit, but fuck it, like. You know, you, but still. You ain't, you ain't shit, but you still got to, like, you know. Yeah. You still got to, like, do your thing. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> drunk as shit, bro. Oh yeah, we was all dressed up and shit, right, bro? It was like it was like a string on this day, like it was like a string of shit, like like a good fortune happened all at once, bro. Like we was out, we was in, we was in the more dangerous part of town, as a lot of people said, but you know, to me, it just felt like fucking Friday. 
So yeah, we was out in town, going to a bar. I was really overdressed and shit. And bruh, hold on to your ass when this happened. We went to a bar, right? And after we left, you know, we was kind of like bar hopping. That's like one of the things I was going to do the whole time. I guess it's one of my favorite, like, you know, hobbies that I like to do on Saturdays and Fridays. But yeah, we was bar hopping and shit. And when we got out of bar, we was tipsy as shit. And, uh... Literally, this is what happened, bro. It was like these, like these, these two black girls, right? It was like these uh, two uh, yellow bones. Uh, <laughs> you just don't say that shit. Right? It was like these. Oh, she a red bone or a yellow bone or whatever. Like, nah, bro, we're black. Fuck it. Fuck all that. Sorry, you know. I'm, I'm <laughs> fuck. I, I'm, uh, I'm. I'm wasted, bro. So yeah, these two yellow bones, right? These two light skinned black girls. And they literally, and I'm going to follow this up later. And literally, bro, like, they said we're having this little church, you know, meeting for people around your age, you know, early 20s and stuff, and mid-20s. And I'm like, all right, like, you got these two hotties asking us out, you know, yeah, giving us a invitation and shit, right? <laughs> And I'm gonna follow that up. Like, it was she gave us the invitation and shit. We was both kind of worried about it and shit. Cause, like, we're not really, we weren't like the whole Christian church religion type. Like, I, I still ain't. Although, sometimes some people invite me, but I still go. But, like, because mostly because, yeah, I'm barely invited to shit. But, you know, it's still cool that someone even still gives a shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, me accepting instead of just saying flat out no. Or, like, I feel, I feel appreciated, like, thank you, like, yeah, I'll take, fuck it, all right, okay, this shit was, like, an hour away from where our campus is, bro, and, uh, the place, it was, it was like a church and shit, right, and we had to take a car there, because it was that far, and, bro, when we got to the parking lot, bro, we stepped out. And it was like, it was a church, but it was like still cars parked there, but it was like quiet as shit. And the church, right, the church, it appeared like people was there, but there was like no invitations, like the doors were closed and shit, like, and already right there, that was like a red flag, like, it was probably some uh, weird occult and shit, someone was going to snatch us up or some shit, bro, so we left, pretty much. And also on that same day, bro, like this, uh, this random ass dude, bro, cause he's, it's kind of like a, I, I guess you could say a ghetto, I don't really like using that word, bro, it's like really fucking demeaning, but yeah, pretty much, when we was there, that happened, the, the two broads, you know, gave us the, you know, the invitation, and at the same time, bro, this, this white dude, like strangled with the white dude. He gave us, like, uh, he gave us free cards. He gave us free cards, like, free admissions to a, to a strip club, bro. Like, you just give them the card and they let you in for free, bro. Like, literally all that happened in, like, the same day, bro. We went out. We was hanging, chilling, drinking, and funny shit. Some two, uh, some two baddies, like, gave us invitations to this whole church thing and shit. And then this nigga gave us free cards to a strip club, like, like, I don't know, like, <laughs> I mean, no homo, pause, pause, big pause, bro, but I'm about to suck someone's dick or something, like, with all this good fortune happening, pause, pause, no homo, no homo, but it's just, it's like, there's this weird string of fucking good luck going on, man, on that day, and this all happened in 2021. All right, <laughs> and <laughs> bro, this guess what happened though, bro? I went to strip club and shit. Joe was lit. Joe was fucking lit. Had a lap dance and shit going on and all that. But you know the fucking lap dance only went for like 
it went on for like a duration for like whatever song they played and shit. But no, uh, that joint was lit though, like and all that. Like I, I've been to the spirit club before. I was like actually had a lap dance and shit, but you know, that was actually my first the first lap dance I ever had, but yeah, shit was lit. But here's when real when all the shit happened, bro. This is where all the shit really kicked off. We went to the same strip club again, bro. And it was like a lot of weird shit going on. Like it was a special like uh, porn star that was gonna show up and all that. And it was a, it was a special porn star. She was kind of like a dwarf, so to speak. She was a little person, so to speak. And pretty much we went there that day. But, bruh, like, it just kept fucking, like, playing the same songs over and over again when we was there. Like, kept playing, the, yeah, kept playing the same fucking songs over there. I mean, they were lit. They were early 2000 songs. So, you know, by default, that's better. Because, you know, the early 2000s was the best decade. Uh, so yeah, like, I ain't gonna lie though, bro, like, there was this one white girl, bro, she was like shaking her ass and shit, like on the pole and fucking shit, it was like Halloween, yeah, I'm, like, this is more, all this kind of like happened during October, like the Halloween month this year, uh, pretty much, bro, she was, she was pretty much bumping and grinding that joint, bro, like, bro, like, this other nigga, he saw it, but he wasn't thinking. He was, he, he was thinking the same shit, like, bro, like, I mean, she was, like, twerking shit her ass, like, bro, like, this bitch had, like, the tightest asshole I've ever seen, bro, like, this joke was, like, yeah. Yeah, I told you I'd be saying some fuck shit later on, bro, like, this, the video, this channel was talking for adults and shit, bro, like, I was thinking to myself, like, bro, like, like, uh, girl, like, can you get a good dick in or something? Like, she was, like, this little golf cutie. Like, she didn't have, like, titties, but, like, yeah, she made up for it, you know what I'm saying? With her performance and shit. And, like, yeah, bro, she had, like, 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 I, I've seen a lot of assholes, bro. <laughs> but, like, this bitch, this bitch asshole was, like, super tight, bro, like, <laughs> And like, I was thinking to myself, like, bro, like, how do you do shit? Like, like, I ain't, it's, it's not weird or nothing. Like, I ain't into fecal, I ain't no fecal foul here, but like, I was thinking to myself, like, that bitch asshole was tight, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> I think I can rectify that, you know what I'm, or you know what I mean. And shit, like, like, on that day, bro, the day we, the second time we went to that same exact strip club, bro. Like, all the bitches and shit, like, they, 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 like, all of them were good. Like, there was, there was, they were at least, like, all eights. They were, like, all eights to tens, bro. Like, there wasn't a single bad performer there, bro. You know what I'm saying? But it just seemed like this day that we went, bro, it's like all them, all these bitches was, like, really, like, yeah. They, they kind of seemed like they were slacking, bro. Like, the DJ and shit was slacking, the performance was slacking and shit. I mean, it was still a good experience, but, like, the management for that particular day, bro, was just, like, annoying as fuck, bro. Like, there's this one performer, right? She was, like, a nurse and shit. Like, bro, she had some big-ass titties. She was, like, a milf and shit. Like, it was mostly milfs this day, funny enough. It was, like, only, like, two or one, like, you know, younger females there. But no, nah, no, nah, she was cool as shit, bro. Like, the same time when I, when I got that lap dance, like, a lot of lap dances happened and shit. Like, you know, the, I was, like, saying, like, really cringeworthy fucking puns, but it still seemed like she liked them and shit. And when the nurse, when the shorty and the nurse outfit came over, I was, like, kind of, like, uh, buzzed at the time and shit. So <laughs> I made some, like, fucking nurse puns, like, Oh uh, shit, what's the fucking diagnosis and shit? But she seemed like it. <laughs> Bruh, like, yeah, she actually gave me, like, her own personal lap dance on me, didn't she? I guess, I mean, I, I, I know that's, like, her job and shit, but, like, yeah. I ain't falling over no strip, I ain't on no three lanes shit, but, like, 
It was cool, bro. Like, like the experience was cool. Like, I, I, there's no way I can actually describe it. Like, I mean, or at least that's the best way I can describe it, so, uh, so to speak. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, this shit was rough. <laughs> and it's just over Joe. We was both conflicted about this dog this dog, bro. This <laughs> Hold on. We was both conflicted, right? About this one milk, bro. Like, she had some big ass titties, bro, but her nipples though, like her n- <laughs> like I that's why I said her nipples are just as big as mine. Like her nipples, bro. Like them Jones is like, you know, stuck out like fuck nails, bro. Like that's how pronounced this bitch's nipples, bro, bro. Uh, <laughs> and like <laughs> she's like performing and shit, like. <laughs> and, and I know, like, bro, y'all some pussy ass niggas, and you pussy ass niggas kept thinking, like, nah, fuck it. Hear me out though. Like she wanted us to grow her, so to speak, but. I mean, I would. I was a full head on that shit, but, you know, the fucking dolls was walking around and shit. The DJ might, like, you know, because the DJ was kind of a, was kind of a snitch and shit. Like, you know, people might, like, point it out for us trying to grow for and shit. Like, and, like, I actually wanted to, like, slide it. Like, I wanted to slide a one through a titty. Like, that's what I wanted to do, but, you know, guys, guards and shit was watching. All right. And she was like, hey, you want to grab me? <laughs> you want to grope me and shit? I'm like, I don't know. It's all gone and shit. I mean, you really want it. Like, <laughs> and all this shit. But yeah, she left. We, we didn't grope her. But we, I still tipped her. Like, because, you know, she has some big ass titties. And it was a good, she did a good, you know, strip dance, strip tease and shit. Because, you know, the bitches be popping. One of the strip clubs where the bitches actually go popping. And pretty much I made like a small, I made like a joke, I'm like, nah, I actually was sick of that, I don't want, I don't want to grow up these titties, bro. Excuse me. I don't want to grow up these titties, bro, like, if I grow up the motherfuckers, like a little bit of milk might come out, bro. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, if I grow up them titties, like a little bit of milk from them big ass nipples might come out. <laughs> you know, that was our way of like, you know. I was just kind of missing our chance to grab some titties, you know what I'm saying? Man, it was still cool. <laughs> and there's this other one. She's like this, like, Eastern European, like, though. And she was a milk, too. But she came over, right? Like, I'm black, right? And the nigga who came with me was white. And she was like, <laughs> she came over, and she's like, oh, I like a black people's hair. Like, she did my shit gentle. You know, she don't want to leave my friend out. And, bruh, she ate the shit out this nigga's hair, bruh. Like, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it was all crazy shit, but, like, she's like, oh, I love black hair. I love your hair, too. <laughs> I'm laughing at my own fucking jokes, bruh. But, nah, nah. Nah, she, she, she just yanked the shit out of my man's hair, bruh. Like, like. Okay, you yeah, don't remember MK9, right? Uh, uh, MK2011, right? And you remember Shang Tsung's fatality where he literally possesses you and make you rip your own fucking head off? Yeah, that's how I literally thought what this bitch was going to do to my uh, friend, bro. I mean, mine was more gentle. Like, oh, I love black hair. And the hair looked like you was about to fucking pull that nigga's head off, bro. That shit was... <laughs> shit was kind of funny. I mean, like... If I was in his shoes, bro, I'd be mad as shit. And he kind of was, but, uh, like, a little bit, because that shit was annoying. But, you know what I'm saying? It was, it was all water on the face, bro. But she didn't get the shit out that nigga's hair, bro. And I just feel like, yeah, a lot of shit I just got done. In terms of this, you know, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and that was just one of the homies, bro. It was this other joke while I was there, too. Like, this is, this is shawty, bro. This is shawty. She was a black girl. She was like a black girl. I ain't snitching. I ain't, I ain't yeah. I'm saying all this shit, but. Yeah, this is a black girl, bro. Like, she had some big-ass titties, bro. And, bro, she was so pressed to, like, appeal to, appeal to these white niggas, bro. 
Like, just this bald head looking Aryan motherfucker. Like, this nigga was like touching her tits, sliding down and shit to me. But when she got over to me, she was acting irritated and shit. Like, like, I had one dollar in the palm. Like, you know, I wanted to say, like, yeah, I want to slide that junk through your titty, bitch. He's like, oh, I, oh, yes, I'll come to you. Like, 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 and my palm open. It was like my palm. This shit was open. Yeah, I know. <laughs> my palm was like open at the dollar and shit. This bitch thought she picked it up. And I'm like, bitch, it's an air dollar. It's like it's still in my hand. <laughs> and she threw it. And then she threw it again. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> that was just half no. <laughs> like the whole time, the whole time, like, bro, the nigga I came with, my friend, like, he just didn't like the experience. Like, oh, always tip black strippers, bro, because you know, I gotta support my folks, man. You know what I'm saying? Always got like, always tip black strippers. I mean, I know it ain't much, like one dollar, like, like yeah, like a nigga really gonna throw a five on there, bro, like one dollar, bro. You don't really had to do it, but you know, still be fucking mindful. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, life. But yeah, that was strip at that one strip club. It's literally like all the shit that happened. And the nigga I came with just didn't like the experience because yeah, at that time, like the dancers were kind of like bitches, bro. Or like it's just like a whole lot of fuck shit that happened at that at that time. Oh, uh, shit. What else? <laughs> oh, yeah, we went to another one. And this joke was, like, way more class A than, than the previous one I was talking about. Like, in this one, the bitches get fully naked, bro. Like, you see they pussy and everything. Like, one bitch actually had a piercing. Like, a, like she had a French hourglass. She had that bitch, bro. And this is one bitch that looked like Misa Amane, bro. Like, like I know we people some weeb shit. Like, she looked like Misa from fucking Death Note, bro. But she seems like she's one of the best dancers there. All right. And we went in that jump. And that jump, like, gave us some, some like, it, it gave us, what's the word I'm looking for? And this jump we went in, it gave us some fucking, uh, like, uh, Saints Row vibes and shit. Like, like, you felt like, like, it felt like you were, like, the boss, and you were owning the motherfucker. You know, there was even a nigga that was like, oh, hey, guys, oh, welcome to our joint. Like, it was way more, like, uh, bourgeois than the last one we went to. Like, bourgeois tea. Yeah, it was, it was way more bougie than the last one we went to. The bitches get fully naked and shit. And, bro, there was this one fucking porn star, bro. Like, it's way smaller, too, like, Big pole and shit was way small. It was just one performer. She was like a porn star. And, bro, I thought I saw fucking everything, bro, from that last one. Like, I, like, in all the previous, you know, strip clubs I've been to. But, nah, bro. This strip club, bro, this one we went to, bro, guess what happened, bro? Guess what happened at this one, bro? This bitch was performing. She got, like, fully naked and shit. She was like a cowboy. That was her whole gimmick. She had, like, Kid Rock in the background and shit. Bro, this bitch, like, she was playing with torches and shit, like, and all that. I guess she was she was into that pain inflicting shit. Like, it ain't really my cup of tea, bro, but, you know what I'm saying? I ain't, I ain't getting the my fetish. I, you know, I'm, I'm, I like to keep it simple, bro, you know what I'm saying? But, yeah, this bitch was just some self-inflicting shit, bro, like. You know, she was using one of them little matches. She was, like, playing with them and shit. And the next thing this bitch did, bruh, like, oh, excuse me. That surprised me the most. This bitch had, like, that little stapler, you know, the joint you hold with the little handle on them. This bitch fucking paid, like, like you know, little mouse and shit. This bitch literally paid niggas to staple a hundred dollar bills on each of her titties, both her ass cheeks, and above her pussy, bro. Like I thought, I saw everything with the last one, with the, with the few ones I've been to. But this one, bro, I'm like, bro, like, what the fuck is this? Like, I mean, it's cool and all. Like, the fact that she was able to, 
allow motherfuckers to do that staple the fucking doll up on their tit uh, titties and shit, but like, bro, like, after I saw it all, until I saw this, bro. But yeah, that pretty much just tells all our experience and shit, like, and, and it actually all happened, like, niggas was tripping and shit. And the whole time this nigga, like, he went upstairs, you know, it was like this, you go upstairs, and there's a way you can see it, you know, all the performers downstairs. I kept telling the nigga, like, can we just get seats and we sit next to it? Like, this bitch was, like, shoving her titties in the nigga's face and shit. Like, bro, we could have took those seats. Like, you know, this one's had, like, reservations and shit. Like, nah, fuck it, hell no, bro. We ain't doing that. We just gonna get regular seats and stuff. But yeah, bro, if I knew, like, the bitch was, like, shoving her titties in my face and shit, I would have went there. But, you know, yeah. So, yeah, that's pretty much all of my experiences in 2021. I mean, I know it's, like, rather short. Well, no, nah, this shit is going on by, like, one hour. <laughs> Probably had to, like, do some editing and shit later. But, like, you know, I'm just getting to the nitty, you know. That's pretty much all that happened my year. Nothing much happened, <laughs> so to speak. <laughs> a lot of shit happened this year, but at the same time, a lot of shit didn't happen this year. <laughs> if you mean in my, in, when it comes to my personal uh, reflections of it, like you know, I was you know, like I actually feel like the college experience, you know, strip clubs, partying and shit. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, the whole virtual shit still kind of felt fucking demeaning. But hey, I feel like actually, like, I, I wouldn't say accomplished, because, like, uh, bro, I probably could do this back in my hometown. So it's not, I would say, an accomplishment. But I just feel like the experience is there. The, the, the more wild out experience is there. You know, with this, with, uh, with back in 2021. You know what I'm saying? And pretty much, yeah, the experience, my, in terms of experiences, 2021 had it. The experiences were there. Uh, as well as some more, you know, serious topics I won't get into. But, yeah, I actually felt like the, felt the college experiences was there. Uh, yeah, like, I actually felt it this year. Uh, media was mad for the most part, but still was adequate enough for the most part. The Suicide Squad. And uh, No Way Home actually being, you know, one of the real exceptional um, uh, media-related things that came out. And, uh, yeah. Uh, shit, still vir still was, shit was still virtual that year, but uh, I feel like things are finally turning up, you know. I'm saying, like, people ain't got to stick up their ass, you know. I'm saying... And really, I'm just trying to enjoy myself this year. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, get some more pussy this time. Instead of just fucking, you know, anytime there's a little Joan I had on the side too. Like, you know, like want to fuck multiple bitches. You know what I'm saying? I only had that experience like last year. Now I actually want to like, you know, yeah. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, y'all already know the drill, man. Like and subscribe. Tell me what y'all think. Hell, I'm going to be generous, bro. Tell me your reflection in the comment section down below. What y'all thought about this year, what y'all did, and shit, and all that. And in terms of YouTube and shit, the YouTube shit pertaining to me, of course, like, I really wish I was more active in this, but you know, my life, you know, I'm busy and shit, you know what I'm saying? So I can't really be consistent with this, unfortunately. I wish I could. I really wish I could be here making more content. I really wish I was there with y'all. Okay, no, not to that extent. No, that, that just, that's just going on there. Yeah, that, that's a whole new, that's a bit, yeah. Like, I got to phrase my shit better. Like, I wish I could make more content in general. Like, because I really do love doing this video YouTube shit. I really do love blogging and analytical videos and shit, but I can't really get behind it, because, you know, I'm busy, I'm partying, you know, I'm actually feeling like, yeah, you know what I'm saying, but yeah, you know, 
down in the comment section. Tell me what y'all think. Tell me what y'all did. Tell me y'all reflection and all the rest. So, you know, like, subscribe. Tell people about this channel. Tell people you like. Tell people you don't like and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like and shit. And, you know, follow me. Subscribe. I really like it. Hit that notification bell because sometimes subscriptions be going on your motherfucking nose. Due to personal experiences, yeah, I think I, I know better than anyone else. And like always, man, and I always try to get pinch out some confidence here. Like always, that is going watch now. <laughs> don't drink, y'all. It, it's really bad. I don't drink too much, but you know, man. But like, don't be consistent with it, bro. It, it can lead to some bad habits. But yeah, you know, man. You know, like and subscribe.